Ladies and gentlemen, gentlemen and ladies, whoa, oh, oh, no. Ladies and gents, we got ourselves some Layla James sitting in a cold, cold world. Sometimes you, got to, you can't make it out. When she was just a little girl, y'all, her mama told her, hold her head up and wear a smile. Because you're going to have pain. I'm sorry, ladies and gentlemen, this is Leela James. This is the song that introduced me to this young lady. Where would I be? Now, ladies and gentlemen, Leela, hold on. We're going to get back to you. We got to talk to people about this. You guys remember September 11th, 911? You remember September 11th, 2001? <laughs> Did y'all remember this on September 10th? One of the largest hurricanes ever to hit New York was scheduled to hit New York on September 11th. But <laughs> guess what happened? See, the day before the storm, photos, September 10th, 2001. Yes, there was a hurricane coming, and it was going to hit New York September 11th. But guess what, homies? That hurricane went back out to sea. How is that possible that the hurricane changed track? It literally changed track all of a sudden. Nobody expected it to change track. Ladies and gentlemen, we're going to click on this right here. Now, this is called Weather Underground, 9-11, hurricane that missed New York City. Did you guys know about this? Because I just found out about this the other day. I was watching a young man, and I'm about to put y'all on to this young man, because this young man did some research, and I promise you, I learned a lot from this young man. And I'm going to put y'all on to this young man. Where is the... Wait, wait. Oh, okay. I was about to say, it ain't showing up. Get out of here. Nobody wants you. Care about your stupid policies? Ladies and gentlemen, let's do this. As the terrorists attacked, what terrorists? One of the most chilling weather satellite images ever taken captured both Hurricane Aaron about 500 miles east, southeast of New York and the smoke plume of the World Trade Centers. Ladies and gentlemen, you see, the reason why those planes could fly to New York is because the hurricane had taken a track heading in a different direction. It never, ever hit the city like it was supposed to. See? While Hurricane Erin never was never a threat to landfall in the Northeast, the cold front and increased westerly winds aloft gave a final east and northeast stove to Aaron. In a strange coincidence, almost exactly 10 years after September 11 attack, Hurricane Katrina was spinning in almost the same location on September 9, 2011. Really? 9-11? My bad. See? 9-11. But, ladies and gentlemen, they said that this hurricane was in no way a threat. Okay, let's let's check that to make sure, because I think he's right. I don't think it was a threat. So, give me a second, because I haven't looked for it. Give me one, let me go back. We're going to pause y'all for a second, okay? Because I got to find a video on YouTube. One second. Now, I want y'all to pay attention. I was clicking on a video. This took me to Facebook. Notice what it says. This video <laughs> isn't available anymore. Okay. Why? Hold on. Got to go find another one. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I want to let you know this is an actual recording from Rochester, New York's television station. Now, I, 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 I have not. I wanted to look at it before I played it to make sure it says what I think it's going to say, but why would I do that to y'all? Mm-mm. Because what did Leela say? Where would I be? What would I do? 
this call is never hurt. Okay, anyway, ladies and gentlemen, let's go ahead and play it, shall we? And you would not believe all the other ones I clicked on. Uh-uh, did not talk. Mm -mm, they gone. See, this is the old UPN. Where did that good thing go? Hold on. New York, Good. which does not make a shed a tear. Is that coming our way, Melissa? <laughs> yes, it is. That's the same line of shower activity that is going to be heading into the Boston area. But what's interesting, if you're noticing the clouds fill in, if you're in Metro West, well, that's because of our front. But if you're down on Cape Cod and Nantucket, the clouds that you're experiencing, it's not from the front. That is from Hurricane Aaron. Yep, already we're starting to see the clouds filter up across the coastal areas. But nonetheless, we will see beneficial rainfall over the next several hours. You you can see right now a larger cluster heading in around the Worcester area and then patchy still back behind it. I would say this will all move in towards Boston around 11 o'clock, 12. Now let me explain to y'all what she's talking about so that y'all get what's going on because many of y'all are not going to understand it. Hurricane Aaron is right here and there's a front moving through. That front is not strong enough to push that hurricane which has hurricane strength winds what happens is they normally come together but that didn't happen this hurricane literally went that way watch this september 10th 12 o'clock and then during the early morning hours we'll see the front push off the cape current temperature 77 degrees in boston 72 hyannis providence at 76 after we were up in the 80s this afternoon so overnight temperatures should be falling back into the lower 60s for boston down towards cape cod and north and west of town it will be a little bit cooler and drier because as that front does push off the Cape, we're going to get a push of drier and cooler air in from the Northwest. So it really should feel pretty nice for us. Now, do you see what I'm saying? When I say what I say, you see how it was continuing to go that way? Let's go back 10 seconds. Not, not even 10 seconds. Hold on. Right there. Now watch this. We're going to get a push of drier and cooler air. And you notice how she keeps saying push. She keeps, that's her second time saying push. She's going to, I mean, the first time she's going to say it. Well, that's the second time. She's going to say it at least three times. Okay. She's going to speak about push again. Watch. They're in from the Northwest. So it really should feel. See how they're coming together. One is drawing the other. And now it's going to literally take and go that way. Pretty nice for us tomorrow. Okay, then this is on the tenth. There is no way in the world this is headed this way. Let's go back so y'all can see. Jello don't shake like that. Jello don't shake Cooler like that. Cooler and drier because as that front does push off the Cape, we're gonna get a push of drier and cooler air. Now she said push twice there. She gonna say it again. So it really should feel pretty nice for us. To Look at that. You see how it's coming this way? Then all of a sudden, now remember it's heading to New York, right here. It's heading to New York, and all of a sudden, it's going to turn that way so it doesn't hit on the 11th of September. Now, hey, they say, you're not a meaty morale, mama, just but sisters. And watch this. One second. I'll be right back. Now, ladies and gentlemen, this person did a video. I'm trying to turn off my voice recognition, so y'all will have to part me for a second. This person did a video. JC. But I don't see no picture. What are you doing to me? Come on, I haven't watched it. It ain't showing any picture. Okay, you see the track of the hurricane? Watch as it plays. Come on now, play, homie. It's playing with me, y'all. Look at that. It just is playing with me. So y'all just hold on a second. Let me get this thing to operate correctly. It just, it, it's being stupid. And I can't help it being stupid because it's just stupid. One second. Ah, uh, it's not doing what it's supposed to do. It's being stupid y'all. So give me a second and the system's doing this on purpose. One second. Literally, the system won't let me play it the way I want to play it. So we're going to play this video, and then we're going to try to go back to that one because it definitely won't let me play that video. See how it's doing that? I'm clicking 
right here on this and lord have mercy all right we're gonna play i want to start off this tropical update just with a quick look at this hurricane Aaron. this is back in 2001 so 21 years uh, ago and uh, uh you know history it is what it is right but it is interesting how a storm system created clear conditions on september 11th and if this wavered just a little bit further towards the west uh and we had a hurricane or at least cloudy skies and messy weather over new york city uh, on that day how things could have changed but it, it's um one of those things you look back on here you know that a multi nope not that one not that one because he said that the hurricane created clear skies over new york really the hurricane okay hold on and that was in 2022 that he did this video where are you at let's see this is the one I'm looking for. But that's the one that said it was him. And that was not this one. That's the one who said it was JC when it wasn't. That was this video. So I just clicked on it again. Yeah, you saw it light up. And it's, let's see. Oh, it's going by slowly. I, look at, oh, it's got rig of mortis. Oh, it's going to get there. Oh, it won't let me play the video, people. Said so the path of the Hurricane Aaron on the 4th to the 15th of September 1. Strange how Aaron changes direction rapidly. And that's the thing. Remember, it's beelining for New York. And watch how it's going to change direction. But it won't let me play it for y'all. I think it's a conspiracy. Yes, I believe it's a conspiracy. Look, it's not even coming on. So y'all hold on. Okay, I think Google stopped playing with me now. Hold on now. Maybe not. Now what you guys are seeing is the actual track of the storm. And notice the direction. Because there's a crescendo. You remember that word crescendo? Haven't heard it in a long time, have you? Look at that. Now we're heading west. Be patient. Oh, we're still heading west. Beeline. That's called a beeline. Look. Watch this right here. Uh oh, just missed that. I think that's Bermuda. Crescendo. Watch it. Watch it. We're, we're headed to New York. Let's take a trip to New York, y'all. Let's go visit Manhattan. Uh oh. Look at all the other clouds. The wind. Which way the wind blows? Uh oh! Let's go the other way. <laughs> New York ain't where we need to go. Imagine that, ladies and gentlemen. That's our nine twelve. Wait, wait, hold on, hold on. Let me show y'all. Hold on, hold on. That's nine eleven. It's still heading there. Hold on. Now, uh oh. Look at that, 9-11. Look at that. The storm literally just heads in the other direction. Oh, it was the cold front that pushed it. Really? Oh, 9-11? The cold front just pushed it? I mean, this is a hurricane. Look at what it did. It just, the other way, just, it, it was headed, it, it, I mean, beeline. They was like, oh, snap. They about to have an event. Ladies and gentlemen, I didn't know about this i may have known about the hurricane at the time but you know with everything going on i didn't pay attention to it but i know something is wrong 
I know something is wrong. Something ain't right. Hurricane Aaron, something ain't right. Look at that trek. I mean, look, it was headed this way, then it curved up. Now, that happens all the time. That, that happens all the time. This is the jet stream that pushes it this way because that's that southern jet stream. Y'all know about that jet stream. Okay, so that happens all the time. Sometimes hey, it does it, but uh-uh. That cold front pushing a hurricane? Yeah, usually if you, you saw the highlights, you saw the video, you saw the clouds earlier. I got to answer this. Y'all have to excuse me because uh, I told them I would answer when they call, and it's too late to apologize. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, in a nutshell, that was one of those consult peoples who I had a consult with a couple of years ago. See, unlike all of these other people who do consults with people, people still have the right to call me. I still leave my number available for them to call me and to ask questions regarding their consult. No, yeah, go ahead and see if anybody else does that. Okay, because it, it's never been about money. I told people they're paying the company for my time. They're not paying me. Now, I got it. I'm, I'm giving you guys this information about this little storm trek and all of this stuff because I think it's beneficial that you know what went on. Now, here, this is this is what led me to this right here looking this up the the mandela effect and when you guys get a chance just type that in youtube and watch some of the videos now we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna do it right here we're gonna click on this one no i don't want to do that one i i seen that one Let's see, 25 things right here. We're going to do this one. We ain't going to do all 25 things. Y'all must be out of your mind. Must be out of your mind. Y'all think I'm going to do all 25. Ain't, 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 I, I ain't even old enough to do 25. Okay? Ain't even old enough. Hold on now. There are cases of the Mandela Effect everywhere. Is the Mandela Effect the only plausible reason why Trump managed to win back in 2016? Pop stars, kings, and secret agents, they're all here. The memory can really play tricks, and the Mandela Effect only makes things worse. The Mandela Effect is a mind-expanding phenomenon with a simple premise. That reality is being distorted so we humans can't remember things. That hey, have you ever heard of the Mandela Effect? Well, many of you haven't heard of the Mandela Effect, and some of you have heard of it, but you think it's stupid. You think it's bulls. Okay, let me explain something to you, because I remember Sinbad starring in a movie called Shazam, or Kazam. It was one of those. I I, I know it was a it was a comedy uh, spoof. I remember that. Guess what? Never happened. I remember it. I, I never watched it. I remember the advertisement. Never happened. Hold on. The way they were. Who came up with it? Paranormal researcher Fiona Broom, who figured the iconic Nelson Mandela had died in prison in the 1980s. Pretty crazy. Hold on, moron. I heard that Mandela had died in the 1980s. Okay? Not in 2013, but that he died in 1986. I heard it on television. I remember that. Not joking, ladies and gentlemen. I am not joking with you when I say that. Well, this is why it's called the Mandela effect. Because everybody thought he was dead. Turns out he didn't die. Is he considering he was freed in 1990 and became president of South Africa? And she realized that she wasn't the only person who thought of this. Hold on. He said the only person who thought of it. We didn't think of it. Watch this. Hence, the legend of the Mandela effect was born. It's since been applied to all kinds of things in our culture. I'm Mike with List 25, and here are 25 things that prove the Mandela Effect exists. 25. Death of Neil Armstrong You don't need a channel like ours to tell you who Neil Armstrong is. He was famously the first man to step onto the lunar surface back in 1969. Supposedly. Look at the flag, ladies and gentlemen. Look at that flag. Now, see the little string up there? And look at that flag. Look at the little string. Look at that flag. Look at that string. 
Look at that. It's all attached to the top. How is that wrinkly B? Anyway, hold on. Fine. Here's a question for you, though. Do you know when Neil Armstrong died? He left this planet, the, so to speak, in 2012. However, the news bypassed a bunch of people who actually believed he died later on. Armstrong may have gone to the moon, but these days he's caught in the gravitational pull that is the Mandela Effect. There is positive news in that he got his own movie biopic in 2018 starring Ryan Gosling. and You've got to be pleased with that casting. And it could only lead to more people finding out about his extraordinary life, not to mention, you know, when he passed away. 24. Mother Teresa If one name is associated with the milk of human kindness with a big asterisk and the power of doing good deeds, then it's surely Mother Teresa of Calcutta. Working tirelessly until her passing until 1997, she devoted her life to the poorest in society and was awarded the Nobel Peace Prize. You'd think someone like this would reach the level of sainthood quite quickly. Yet, when it comes to her canonization, in other words, the time she was officially made a saint, the truth is not very well known at all. According to those who suffer from the Mandela Effect, Mother Teresa was canonized in line with Roman Catholic tradition during the 1990s. They'd be surprised to hear the honor wasn't finally bestowed until nearly 20 years after her death in 2016. 23. Old Phones a particularly striking example of the Mandela Effect is the How to See into a Parallel Dimension series on TikTok made by a user called The Thought Police. He uses an old school mobile device with the recommended date of pre-2008 to shoot footage of things like food packaging, movie clips, and more to reveal a supposedly hidden truth. With these highly watchable videos, it appears as if he's shifting us into another reality or jumping into another time. He's certainly caught the imaginations of many fellow social media users, like this YouTuber, who was astonished by revelations about SpongeBob SquarePants. On another undersea note, let's take a deep dive into the Mandela Effect. There's nothing more likely to get people's attention than food, am I right? So keep watching for a tasty story. 22. Oreos. Just saying the word- Hold on. Hold on. The double stuff Oreos? Even I know that. And I, I want you to understand how I know that because I went and bought a pack. Well, I went looking for it purposely for that because it was advertised as that. No joke. Hold on. Oreos makes me hungry. Double stuffed Oreos especially. Because Hold on now. I want y'all to pay attention. I literally in the 90s went and got myself double stuffed. Uh, this was in the early 90s. And I went looking for it after that because they advertised it. Hold on. Because you get more of that creamy goodness. That said, there's actually a secret about this type of Oreo that'll blow your mind. And it's a secret hiding in plain sight. All you need to do is pick up a packet and look. You might be wondering what I'm talking about, but pay real close attention to the packet and the logo. It says double stuff, not stuffed. Plus, things get weirder with the fact that stuff only has one F. So, okay, now I don't know about the Fs, I just know I purchased it. So when I heard them saying it, I'm like, they out of their mind, because I know I purchased me some double stuff. What gives? Analysis has shown that in order for the name to make sense to your brain, it should read double stuffed instead of stuff. So that's the way you read it. As for the spelling stuff with one F, well, that isn't clear. But it got the company out of a jam when a lawsuit was brought on accusing them of misleading customers. This case was based on the product not containing double the amount of stuff. The makers of Oreos argued that stuff, S-T-U-F, was an invented word referring to double the pleasure rather than any strict measurement. Interesting move there, guys. Okay, understand something. I, I didn't care about that. I just, when they said that uh, people were saying it didn't exist, I'm like, you must be out of your mind. I actually went and bought that and it was too sugary for me, so I didn't buy it that often. I'm not going to stop eating Oreos, though. 21. Overwatch The Mandela Effect and games overlap quite often. There's the Monopoly Man, who everyone thought had a monocle but doesn't. Then, on the video game side of things, you have Pikachu's Tail, which I'll get to later. Meanwhile, in the world of Overwatch, another story developed. Gamers were on the edge of their seats with the news that a secret connection existed between the characters of Mercy and Reaper. 
This excitement came through an exchange of dialogue, where it sounded like Mercy had been involved in Reaper's backstory. Sadly for fans, this turned out to be a group delusion and the dialogue didn't actually exist. They might be interested in the Mandela Effect card game, though. I love Overwatch. Who's your main? Let okay. me know. And if you're on Overwatch... Like I said, ladies and gentlemen, not so much him, because he is trying to debunk this, and so I'm going to send you to the guy who I watched, and there are a couple of stories that I thought I knew. I, I, hold on now. His video is an hour, about an hour long. Matter of fact, I don't want 50 examples of Mandela Effect. History, Mandela Effect. This is the one. JFK, uh, there was a bombing that took place in 1916. The first official, first official uh, terrorist bombing in America. Ladies and gentlemen, also when you find out about that bombing that actually happened, when you watch History Mandela Effect, that's the title of the video. Okay, do yourself a favor, pay attention to the American flag and who actually made the American flag compared to what you were taught in school because I was taught that in school. All right, gotta go. That's what I wanted to let you know. All right, gotta go. Arrivederci.